Hi guys, give me just two minutes. I'll be dealing with the basics of neuroanatomy. Why the neuroanatomy matters? It is a control center of all of the body. And anywhere damages, it affects everything. As a doctor, you will be dealing with neuroanatomy in day-to-day -day life to find out where the lesion is. Yes, we can move to the basic division of the nervous system. It includes the central nervous system and the peripheral nervous system. The central nervous system includes the brain and the spinal cord. And the peripheral nervous system includes the autonomic nervous system and the somatic nervous system. The somatic nervous system controls the voluntary activities of the body and the autonomic nervous system controls the involuntary activities. Coming to the structure of our brain, it constitutes major, the major portion of it constitutes the cortex, the cerebral cortex. It is constituted by two hemispheres, two cerebral hemispheres. And the cerebrum is the wrinkled part of the brain which can which include which controls the higher mental functions like the thinking as well as um, the speech etc also the cerebellum it is a little brain which is for the balance and coordination coming to the brain stem it is the life support system which controls our heart rate breathing etc and also the diencephalon the thalamus as well as hypothalamus which is the control system for the hormone release also the hunger and thirst etc and uh, we can deal with the salsa yankari. What are those? They are, these are the um, foldings of the brain. The foldings present in the cerebral cortex is known as the uh, gyri and the grooves are known as the salsa. These are important for increasing the surface area of the brain. Coming to the spinal cord basics. The structure is just like a tube-like and it is protected by the vertebrae. And its function is to highway for the signals between the brain and the body. It also includes the grey and as well as the white matter. The grey includes the, the neuron cell bodies as well as the white matter includes the myelinated axons. Coming to the blood supply of brain, it's very important because the no blood flow means blood cells, the, uh, the brain cells die in minutes. Right, yes. And coming to the two key systems of blood supply in brain. One is the carotid system which comes from the uh, in front of the neck and it will deal with the um, front side of the brain and the vertebral system it will be uh, giving blood supply uh, to the brain stem cerebellum etc. I hope you understand the video follow for more content. Thank you.